and it is a beautiful morning. It's a little foggy. You guys can see that this morning. We got the pup with some pets out here with us too. We've also got the John Deere 850B ready to go and I brought Mike's truck up this morning. We're gonna get it topped off with fuel because any minute Jerry is on his way out. We've also got the John Deere 120 sitting at the top of the hill. We're gonna run and get that after we get this topped off with fuel. We're gonna start getting a dam pushed up today and I'm pretty excited about it. She had a long night. Coyotes were out last night. Her job is keeping the chickens safe. Yeah, long, long night, didn't you, girl? Long night. go we've got our camera stuff with us let's get this thing walked down to the pond job to the channel then welcome and let me get you caught up to speed about exactly what we've got going on today we are starting to push up the dam on this pond build project and this video will cover the dam construction in its entirety and when i say we for the record i mean jerry jerry is a retired operator and he offered to come out and run the 850 and help us out on this if you watch dirt perfect's channel you've seen jerry on there already he also works for dirt perfect part time there are several videos prior to this one where we've done all the lane clearing for this project renting dirt perfect's excavators to do so and i'll put those links in the description Make sure you check those out if you want we have a little bit of miscellaneous cleanup to do with the excavator first thing then jerry's going to get out there we're going to do a little bit of excavator work like with the keyway cleaning out a couple ditches and getting things ready and then the rest will be all damn construction so stay tuned and i hope you enjoy the video so this this is my jerry defense right over here you see that uh shows up that green stake that way is the septic field or will be the septic field for the youtube pro youtube yacht project which is right there on top of that hill but where we're at in indiana you have to have a certain amount of distance between your septic field and a body of water for obvious reasons this is the distance i need this is my jerry defense hopefully this keeps him from running the dozer back up in here other than that we should pretty much be ready to go i think i'm just gonna do a little general cleanup around the edges until he shows up which should be pretty soon I'll tell you one thing it's gonna be a good day i know that for sure i know that for a fact it's gonna be a good day i will say this i said that a few days ago and it hit a little harder than normal it was not <laughs> grand scheme of things still probably a good day but it hit a little harder than normal and i gotta say chelsea's been keeping me going the past few days uh, lucky man lucky lucky man Firewood 
and mill and all that kind of stuff. You guys know what people make comments about when it comes to logs and videos. Anyway, I got this picture the other day from a good friend of mine. And that is a very exciting picture. So we may try to make a trip down there one day, see if he's up for making a video. He just got that. And he's been having a blast with it. He really has. He's been sending me quite a few pictures actually of it. And uh, well, we're just gonna have to make time one day to get down there and see that thing running. I could be a lot of fun. A lot of fun. Really want to get that stump out but at this point i'm starting to get into these roots for this fella pretty good and i really want to save that guy so i think we're just gonna end up coming back with the saw later and just cutting it flush and that'll be good enough be good enough for that one he gave me my first assignment which is kind of how the day is going to go and i'm pretty excited about it we're going to get the rest of this ditch cleaned out go over there and clean up a little bit of that stuff around the edge he wants to pull that firewood out just so we can get to it later let's get it done Next assignment was get these logs up and out of his way. And we're just going to shuttle them way back this trail. These are, uh, these trees were my neighbor's trees. These are my neighbor's trees. So we're just slowly getting them swung over there. And at this point, we're just going to try to grab big bunches and track them from here. On our bike and, uh, I can grab this thing on. Let's try it. Let's try it, bud. Oh, yeah. We got her there, don't we? We're going to have to go sideways. A little bit of a tight squeeze. That's all right. Here we go. Nope. Nope. We're going that way. Let's 
go get the next bunch. Hopefully I can just get it one move. Definitely a little tight right here though, but that's okay. That is okay. stuff pushed out of the way then I'm gonna hop down there with the excavator and we're gonna go ahead and start running the keyway across here it's going pretty well pretty well
I'll come. I'm gonna try to save this somewhat if I can. At least I got quite a bit to take there, but go out that way. But we still have a nice area here, Mike, for something. Oh yeah, there, there's, anyway, there's yes. plenty of room back here if, yes, if I need for, to do for something. Parking and anything. Yeah. yeah, we'll be good. I'm gonna let this warm up, but Mike still used to be checking the oil leaning that bad, and it's never used any before, so. You need something, holler, bud. Okay. Thanks, Jerry. I got a little work I need to take care of on the YouTube Yacht Project up there this morning real quick. I'm gonna leave you guys on a time lapse down here with Jerry though. See how this turns out. We'll come back check on him in a little bit. down to check on Jerry see if he needed anything he wanted to know if we had a laser available so we're gonna go get a laser and come back and just get him a couple reference marks
great rise at here. We're still pretty low out here, I have a feeling. Let's see what we got. I said probably, probably six feet up yet. So Jerry's getting pretty close behind me here. He doesn't think he's gonna be able to get it quite to grade today, which is kind of a bummer because we're actually leaving on a family trip tomorrow. We're headed down to Gatlinburg. So Jerry's gonna be out here by himself, which is fine. He's been out here by himself the whole time. I've just been out here with the camera. Anywho, he's gonna get it up to grade tomorrow. So the next time we'll look at this, the dam should be done. He's doing just a few more lifts here, a few more pushes, then we're going to uh, I keep saying we, then he's gonna go around the top one more time. We'll check grade, see where grade is good. And then we'll come back from vacation, see how it looks. vacation was great by the way and there'll probably be a small clip of the trip in an upcoming video that doesn't matter i came back it was dark the night i came back and then i went to shift the next day and i just got off a of shift you can see the 850 sitting there obviously the ranger and then um, mike also ran up the d4g for jerry to do a little work with it and i'm pretty excited i cannot believe the way this thing turned out so you guys want to see it so this is what we ended up with been, it rained last night a little bit, about a half an inch of rain here. You can see it washed this out here, which we, uh, I actually have a load of riprap coming later this week. We just didn't have a chance to get the riprap on before the rain. There's the culvert coming out. You guys remember that, right? Road up that way. And then that was the road back to the original YouTube yacht site. So there's where that culvert was at. It washed that out pretty good. Not a big deal. Like I said, I've got riprap coming later this week to riprap all the way down into there. turned out great so water level will be right about see my finger right about there there is a spillway over the top on that side we'll put some riprap on but all in all it turned out pretty awesome I can't believe it honestly I honestly can't believe it's definitely a little larger than what I originally expected no complaints there you guys remember this tree awesome here we are on the other side of the dam there's the pipe over there the dozers for reference that's that spot I was talking about washed out but like I said we expected that I just didn't get the riprap in in time it's coming later this week so we'll get that all cleaned up turned out really nice Jerry got everything cleaned up around the bottom side that was the original hole where we shoved all the stumps and stuff down into and that turned out really nice as well Andy's got a trail or a path pretty much all the way around the back side of this dam, which is great. It's too steep to mow this way, obviously, but I can easily bring the tractor across 
and down or just come up and down it it's not too steep to do that and with the trail along the bottom uh, i can just come down go around come up come down go around come up and kind of do that we're not going to bush hog it or keep it too crazy you know what i mean just maybe once a year just keep everything beat down so i think that'll work just fine i can't believe how nice this turned out I cannot believe how nice this turned out. So this is pretty much the goal for this time of year. It's a little bit late in the season to be pushing dams up. The goal is to get the dam hogged in and then get all the seed and straw down around the outside. And like I said, I've got riprap coming later this week for that spot right there. So we'll go ahead and get that rip wrapped and fixed and ready to go. Grass seed in. That way the pond can fill up over the winter, settle out throughout the winter and spring a little bit. And the next summer, obviously we have a lot of work to do yet. We can start doing the fun things. Not that this wasn't fun, but the fun things. Chelsea and I have talked about maybe doing a little boardwalk around the steep bank on this side we've talked about a floating swimming platform i know gary has some plans and things he wants to do over here with us it's going to be awesome i mean it's just going to be amazing it's been a lot of fun it is an awesome awesome thing to have on the property i've said awesome 20 times that's how excited i am there's definitely some credit to be given though jerry did all of the 850 work and all of the d4 work and it turned out amazing so everybody be sure to tell jerry thank you in the comments and that d4 was not here when i left which means dirt perfect ran that d4 up here for him while i was out of town in gatlinburg having a good time so be sure to thank dirt perfect as well for getting us taken care of and obviously for letting us rent the equipment for the entirety of this job and a huge shout out to our neighbor gary who is probably the main reason this thing happened because he approached us and said do you want to do it and we said absolutely it's been a very fun project and i know we're going to have a lot of fun doing all the finishing touches next summer I hope you guys like the way this video turned out. We love the way the pond turned out. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you on the next one.